I'm Florence Ballad 3060 and you're into something good. Time for another review. Let's see what today's product is. Hi guys, welcome to another review. This is today or rather tonight's product we're reviewing. This is a tumble dryer water vapor condenser by a company called W Pro. I purchased this from Argos for £9.99. I did by click and collect and I picked it up within about two days. It came literally within two days, um, but you can also order it online and have it delivered the same day before a certain time. What this basically does, as you can see below, here is my tumble dryer. As you know, compact dryers, all apart from one particular model made by Zanussi back in the early 2000s, well, they all are vented. What does this mean? It means you have to vent the dryer out through a window or through a hole in the wall. Now, mine's in the bedroom, so I don't have a, a reason to install it permanently in a wall. Therefore, I have throw out my simple thing is I hook the hose that you see inside the drum, goes outside. Fine in the summer where I can take it on the balcony or when it's hot, but in the winter at this time of the year when it's the temperatures at night are soaring up, to, soaring down to about minus two degrees Celsius, I'm using, losing all my valuable heat out the window. I don't really want that. I'm letting things in, you know, flies, everything through the window and wasting all my coldness. So what this is designed to do, it basically converts any regular venter dryer into a condenser dryer. We'll open it up and we'll show you how to use this and we'll show it in action and how it works. So let's unbox. We'll have a look where else you can buy this and you can buy similar ones as well. They all do the same thing by different brands. Always however though, don't just go by my reviews, also read the reviews from people online, that's exactly what I did. So, neatly open the box, okay. See what comes in the box. You have your actual condenser, with the removable lid, so don't worry if that comes off. Well, for one, we don't even have an instruction. But for one, I don't think. So you have two little clips, it pops off, and you have a spare hose in it, so don't worry if your dryer doesn't already have a hose. And I will be using this one instead for this because it's quite a short hose though. The one on my white knight is a bit gone. But I think I'll still use my one. Put that there. You have a cable tie for putting it together. And I, I think this is permanent one, so I'm not going to do anything with that yet. And your actual condenser here with a little chamber. So what you do, you normally fill it with water or ice, or you can use those cooling blocks that you use on picnics. You're meant to fill it to a certain level, you're about two thirds full for some of them, I think they're all the same. Place your dryer hose on this, the end of that, secure it with your cable tie around here, pop it back on, and then it basically, it also catches all the lint in there that comes out, so especially good if you're doing towels. Um, the only thing is, I have conspiracy theories about these, thinking does it actually still let all the vapour into the room? And I have questions as well, what if I was to block these vents off? I always have these questions about this. But however, there are some people that say it still lets moisture in the room. There's been mixed reviews on these things. So it'd be interesting to see what kind of a result we get. I'll show you what they do. So if you're all like me, you've already got a dryer hose. This is what came with the White Knight. Um, pretty much most dryers uh, are rear venting, so I just attach mine into there. However, if you have, say, a Hot Point or Creda one compact dryer, they vent from the front on the door, so there's a door that um, you'll have a separate attachment where you can actually put something on the door, a vent on the door, and it comes out from there. Um, some dryers vent out the side, older service models, etc. Um, most older machines will. As you can see, my hose is not in the best of the conditions. Um, so that's splitting there. So because of that, I am not going to reuse that hose for it. And I'm instead going to take this one out 
and use a new one. You can hear something in the background, that's the Cassata. She's doing the load that we're going to be drying in this. So I'm going to put this through here. And I've learned the trick is not to put it through the actual little ring bit here, but instead to actually just push it through this. You won't need it to be too long because it doesn't need to go out the window. It's in this, yeah? So you attach it through here, put it onto the back of the this, and then we'll attach it to the um, box. So, once you've got your hose like that uh, in its little holder, you then attach that to the back of the dryer or to the front. And now it's time to attach it to this. So what you do, you can place the uh, lid of your condenser box on. Um, now I have to admit, I think the clips on this one are a little bit um, on the flimsy side, because that is one of the reviews I've read, is that it doesn't seem to sit properly, unless there is a certain way that it goes on. I wouldn't think there was. There's lugs, there's two lugs um, at the side here as well. For s yeah. I don't see exactly what they locate into. Might be a bit of a fiddle. No, we got it actually. We've got it. And then last but not least, clip that one over. And they do lock they do lock in, but yes, as many people said they don't feel that strong. Place this part over the opening. Are they sure that this fits over it? That is draining in the background. Ah, oh, that's it, yeah. Mm. Okay, it feels like it has to stretch quite a bit though. So it's got to be Wonder, Wonder Woman flexible. That's it. And then you just simply secure with your cable tie. Like so. So there is no clear indication on these, unfortunately, to where two centimetres is. So I've marked that out with a, a measuring tape. Now what you can put in here, some of these uh, you'll find from certain sites, they, some of them do actually supply these or you can buy these. These are those freezer uh, thermal blocks you put in uh, to keep your food cool. They use it for picnics. Um, they're full of like refrigerant or coolant. They do advise to put some in here because it actually keeps the water really cold. That's what I'm going to do. Now I've got two in there. And now I'm going to fill this up. Any cracking, don't worry, it's just the. Um, yeah. There's like a separator, there is. And you've got to roughly fill it up to about there for it to work. So I probably used a little more than I should have in this jug, but that's fine. And what we do. Oh, sorry, keep it there. You bring your lid in the dryer. Now this is quite a tight squeeze. I can see and it dislodges itself. That's not very good. Right, we've got the hose attached with our water in there. And I've got my dryer balls and I've got a load that just came out of the cassata. Um, let's give that a go. High heat. And that now comes on. And what happens is, is all that water, the vapor, and all the linen comes out gets trapped in there. And I feel some bits blowing out there. Okay, so as it is, the dryer has immediately got the um, heating element engaged, so there will be warmth coming out of that. Um, 
we're not really focusing on the dryer itself, it's focusing on the end. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully this may be the answer to indoor drying. See if we see any progress. You may notice it starts to like become very um, it's, it, it is cloudy anyway. I have got the original hose for this dryer back on. The one that's provided with them is very short. So unless you're using it on a tabletop, I wouldn't. Okay, so I've got some progress. There's already a bit of lint flying around in there, if you can see that. So that's good. Those blocks just help to basically condense the heat. Uh, they help to cool the water down. But what we really are looking for is if we get any condensation on the window once that heats up. I can say there is a slight bit of warmth coming from there. But it is trapping some lint in there as you can see. Yeah. There is some lint being caught. That's mainly what it does. So that's the first harmful thing is lint. That stuff is flammable. It's that stuff that causes uh, dryer fires. Regardless of make or brand, I know that there's been recalls recently, but it can happen to any dryer. It can happen to this, it can happen to any, as well as those listed. But if you get lint around, that stuff is flammable. And I have done an experiment, I will do a video soon, with a lighter to show you how um, flammable dryer lint is. I don't want a separate video. But yes, yeah, looks like we're getting somewhere with that. There's not much air blowing off here, which is good. It's a bit of a progress. We are 20 minutes into the cycle, and that's at full heat, uh, 1200 watts, so you can see there. We've caught quite a lot of lint, but this is the other thing. Look at my window, okay, there's a tiny bit of condensation there, but it's nowhere near as bad as what it, used, what it normally is. That might be, however, because I've got the vents facing the window. If I turn that around, like that, it blows the air this way. However, you have to remember, my dryer is placed right by the window. Not everyone's is going to be. Mine does go right up against it. One thing to say, I don't think with a vented dryer you'll be able to 100% eliminate any humidity produced. Um, I do not know what would happen if you were to tape up these vents. I don't know if that would do anything or what. But, um, I have noticed what people say though, yes. The vent, the box does seem to struggle to stay closed. That is not very good though, there. That should be stuck like that, like so. That's not good, because that came flying off. That's defeating the whole purpose of this being a condenser box. Not good, yeah. You can see there. Mm. That's already a design flaw I can see with this. It has been quite a, a heavy complaint from consumers. There's not even any pressure acting on that. And it's just pulling it straight off. So yeah, that's that. There's a bit of condensation here from where there's just cold water there. Mm. So the dryer is finished and it's time to check the results. Now, I've got to show you something. Window. That is a lot of condensation there. I understand that it is freezing cold outside, it's roughly about two or three degrees outside, and yes, any heat that hits the window would do that. But um okay. This is the conclusion. First thing, uh, that's the first thing I have to say. It hasn't really done the job in reducing the humidity. Next thing I have to say is the quality of this is atrocious. Watch this. That pops doesn't even stay closed. Neither does it do it on the other side. You may as well leave it like that. That has been one of the things I've seen. Now, it's done a great job in collecting lint. As you can see, there is lots of hair and stuff in here. I advise washing these if you use them from the freezer. So it's done that, okay. It's very, very flimsy. But that, I can't believe it has 
made it humid in here again. So essentially, I'm now throwing humid air into this room. I would attempt at taping these up with duct tape to see if that would do anything, but I'm just not impressed with the build quality on this, really. Now, I have um, looked at the Argos review website for this, and I'll put some links below to where you can buy it. But you can also look at other models. They are all built the same, really. Um, the other thing I'll say, do not use the hose that came with it, which is probably only about one meter long, if that. Um, only use that if, that's literally, look. Only use that if you are using your dryer on a tabletop and you're not going to be putting it anywhere like, you know, from the floor. I've used the dryer's original hose. Um, I believe they do different models for this. Really, you're better off venting it through um, a wall um, or if you don't have that out of a window if you're willing to have it open. Of course, with me, I do lose heat very quickly in this room, and that's not something I'm wanting to really keep using my electric radiant fire all the time. So, I mean, I don't know if I really recommend this. Other than this, I was quite. This is the first product I reviewed on this channel that I haven't actually been happy about because um, I did actually get this because I needed one. Um, it was. It didn't get any condensation on there for like the first ten minutes, which was good. Normally when you just vent a dryer into the room, like the old Creda one I had, which vented from the front, it used to uh, make the room very humid. So that's that. So, um, no, I mean, the only good thing is that it's collected the lint and it has reduced the humidity a little bit. But not as much as it should intend to. Um, not to, I mean, it was only 9 so I, I guess I paid a reasonable price, but it's not like I paid 20 £30 for it. Um, and even though for nine ninety nine, I probably would expect a little bit more. Um, well, oh, that's actually a Whirlpool dryer, a Whirlpool Six Sense dryer on there. That makes any difference, but it's one point three meter is the hose. Which, yeah, for yeah, condenser for dryer. And there's some of the things that recommend uh, some of the dryers that can be used with. I don't know why they recommend it because uh, clearly it doesn't really work. I mean, that's cold war but yeah it didn't really do too much of a good job so i mean a load of towels which would be producing about three times that amount of lint and humidity as well um anyway guys so i hope this um, has advised you on these condenser boxes there are various reviews on these now some people do get good um experience with them but my experience has proved otherwise um, so I will look at more efficient ways to vent my dryer um, without having to open this window for um, 40 minutes or odd. Um, the next thing, I'm actually going to review the dryer itself next. And then we have that to do for the winter. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope that helps. Don't forget to stay safe and keep it supreme and go with the flow.